Hey guys, I'm trying to fix the broken switch in Samsung Go mic. If you look at this side of this microphone, we have a switch which doesn't really work. So I'm hoping to disassemble this microphone and trying to clean the contacts or whatever. So I disassembled it partly already. Let me show you what I did. You can use regular screwdriver to unscrew the screw here this place. The second step is to use your Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew from both of the screws on each side of this plastic mount here. On the other side is the same one here. Okay, so the third step is to unscrew this large screw here. It's located at the bottom under the rubber leg that holds the microphone still on the surface. Then basically it pops off and when it does internally it has this plastic piece which comes off and metallic one that does come off also. As you can see the nudge over there it goes inside this nudge. That's it. Next steps involve unscrewing two Phillips head screwdrivers on each side. Okay, so let's try to separate it now gently. Probably has some clips inside, so let's work our way out with plastic separators. Let me get them. I took regular guitar pick and tried to nudge it here, all the way across this round bump, but be careful not to break it. And then, while holding this one here, I used my other mm, Chinese repair set tool just to nudge it here a little bit so it kind of opened. So I'll try to do the same for the other side and see whether that works. So the main point was try to wiggle it here because these are two screws that keep it together. So I took my guitar pick and kind of put it here, wiggled it, and over there. And that popped it up. Let's see if it now can be easily removed. Just be careful not to break it. There are those two clips that hold it together, like so. And on the other side, it's the same two clips. So you just need to unclip it and whole thing comes apart. Mm, just like so. Here what we have inside. Just be aware of this black cable that goes near the headphone input and it goes right into this screw. If you pull it hard enough apart it may break. Here is the problematic switch over there and it only works when you push it hard. For example, let's push it hard and now you can hear the echo. It's because it works. It works, it doesn't. It works, it doesn't. So the plan is to use the hot glue gun here, which uses this silicone sticks and just put some here and hopefully the upper cover will push it together and it will make a good contact. We'll see if it works. Of course another thing is to use a two-sided duct tape with some foam. I think it may work better but I just couldn't find it in my home. Let's see if it works. Oh wait, so I did find this foam 
kind of thick, but when pressed from above, I think it will make some difference. I'll just duct tape it to this side. I use this piece of foam and double sided duct tape. It's 3M for 6 8 MP, but it doesn't matter. Whichever you have works. Let's install it here. Take the upper side, just apply it. Don't forget this plastic cover, and this is the foam. Let's try to install it back. This plastic thing was giving me a headache, so I used some double sided duct tape on this portion and fill it in. Hopefully, that will help me put it down. Okay, so I have a working microphone now. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And this was my disassembly video of the Samsung Go Mic.